Hi guys, it's Annie Frankie. Um, I decided that I have told a little bit of a fib yesterday and I said that I wouldn't do a video till Tuesday when our appointment for um, finding out about the embryo transfer would happen. But do you know what guys, I feel so much better today um, from leaving those videos on YouTube last night that I thought, do you know what, I'm going to do one more before the um, embryo transfer um, appointment. Uh, yesterday was a really emotional day for me and um, I found it really difficult to sort of go back in time and even just skimming over the, you know, the history that Jake and I have been through, such things as the miscarriage and, you know... I did actually notice playing back the video that I said my last miscarriage was in May 16. That was um, incorrect. I got my years in a muddle. It was May 15, which was around the time I got married. I got married in April 15. Um, but obviously nerves sort of kicking in. You're just rambling away. And when I watched them back, um, I was like, oh, no, why did I say that? So um, sorry if any of you guys think, oh, blimey, she... Um, miscarried quite soon and then what got into the swing of it we actually did have to wait a year and a bit for ourselves to get prepared ready for the next stage so um yeah it, it was hard actually looking back on my videos and watching them um I don't know probably if anyone's watching this who knows me might realize that I was quite emotional and holding back a lot through the videos um but it was a restless night. I didn't sleep very well thinking about, oh, should I have done it? Should I have posted it on YouTube? And this morning I feel much better. Um, I've had a few texts from people that have seen it who know me. And thank you for that feedback. Um, I'm glad you're joining me on this journey. And I'm sure a few of you do get the regular phone calls and texts about it all. But this is nice for me to be able to share it to everybody. Um, well, what to say? Um, so embryo transfer appointment is on Tuesday. And um, I have decided that I have been living quite a relaxed um, lifestyle for the last couple of months. Um, I would very quickly went back straight back onto Diet Coke. And um, actually, I've got a... Um, cold coffee anyone who knows me very well knows I love a coffee so um, I've decided from tomorrow that I am going to start detoxing again and um, the caffeine will be cut um, I'm still on my metformins I'm still on my um, multivitamins and I will be going back onto the caffeine free tea bags um, caffeine free coffee if I fancy one um, and just getting water back in me to try and clear things through because I would hate to know that our embryos have done such a great job because I stuck by the routine so well and actually now because I've relaxed a little bit on my lifestyle that um, it's detrimental when it comes to doing a pregnancy. So if any of you are watching and you have been through this, perhaps you're on another cycle and you've been through a cycle or you might even have a little baby from going through a similar thing to Jake and I, it'd be great to hear from you guys to find out how you got your body into, a, you know, a clear state ready for embryo transfer. Um, I do know that around the time, the only thing I've really researched is that you shouldn't be having hot baths, um, stick to showers and keep the water flushing through, um, keep your vitamins up. Uh, tonight we've got, um, have got a bit of a naughty dinner tonight actually, I think I've got a chicken pie and um, Jake has rung me to say that we've got some vegetables and some root vegetable mash. So um, I've decided, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to, you know, Thursday's the new Friday, so I'm going to start rocking on hard and fast. By um, I actually have a work drinks tomorrow, and um, I would normally be swigging back the red wine. I'm not a heavy drinker, but it'd be quite, you know, I do like a couple of glasses of Rioja, and 
I'd normally be staggering home, getting the last train, and actually tomorrow I am going to be on the water. Unfortunately, if any of you watch it tonight and going to be there with me tomorrow, I will be on the water, and I am going to take it sensibly now. So, um, I've, I have. I was in that frame of mind when I started the IVF. I think I'd sort of detoxed for about a month before. And, you know, when I make that decision, I stick by that decision. So, um, yeah, I am, I'm putting this video out there so people know I am deadly serious about this. You know, I want to get back into feeling good about myself again. I've had a bit of time to be franking and clear my mind of IVF, but I can, it, it's starting to play on my mind a lot, you know, you go out to lunch and I'm looking up IVF videos on my phone and stuff like that. So I, you know, I'm getting back into that frame of mind with the appointment coming round. And actually, now's a good time to sort of be able to say next week when I go into the appointment, do you know what? I'm ready to go. Let's do it. Um, it's it's um it's really emotional, guys. But in today's a really good emotional. This is what I was talking about yesterday with the IVF. You know. I've had some real down times and I looked back and I feel a bit of guilt towards mentioning that I've got quite a few friends pregnant because actually a lot of, I've got quite a lot of close friends, very close to me at the moment who are expecting, uh, some are expecting their first and I don't want anyone to watch this video and to feel that I um, have been fake towards them in any way or that I'm bitter towards them. I love my girls and my girls will know that watching this. You know, I love each and every one of you. And I am really over the moon for you guys. And it just, when you sit back and play back what you're going through and your struggles, it's really hard to not think about the good that everyone else has around you. So I really am sorry if anyone watches the video and thinks, oh, Cheers, Frankie, you know, <laughs> my good time and you're rubbishing it. It's not that at all, guys. Um, I just wanted to make that sort of clear. Um, so, yes, so tomorrow is big day for me, detoxing. Um, my friend from work who sits ne next to me, if she's watching this video, because I know she's watched or been watching the other ones, you got to keep an eye on me, make sure there's no tea and coffee on my desk and... Um, Let's get those oranges back out and that, you know, orange squash if I want a bit of a change from the water and crack on with it, really. Um, yeah, that that's it, really. Um, I will catch up with you guys another time. And thank you for your support and your love. And we will speak soon. Take care. Bye.